Hi there, I'm Shami. Welcome to my little internet space where I make videos about all things content creation. In today's video, I'm showing you how I edit my pictures for Instagram using only mobile free apps. Last week, I gave you some easy to follow tips to take better pictures with your smartphone. And if you haven't seen that video, it's floating around here. And now it's time to take that raw file into the editing process and get your pictures ready for the gram. I'm going to show you in real time how it is my editing process from start to finish. What apps do I use, what tools do I use in each of one of these apps and it's going to be totally on my phone. This means I'm going to be using only mobile apps and they're all for free. I'll be showing you the screen recording of my phone so you can see what I'm doing in real time. So I chose, I have 3 million pictures on my phone, so I just select a few of them and I'm gonna just grab one of the ones that I have parked in, which I this But I'm gonna choose this one. This is my raw file, as we chat before. As I go to Lightroom, here is my picture. I already have my own set of presets that I created myself for myself, uh, for now. So the first thing I do is I'm just gonna grab my own set of presets, which I have here. And even though I have these presets, I always touch up a little bit more the image because even though you have a, a color grading setup, you always have to adjust a little bit the lighting. So I'm gonna go to light options and you can see that I already have my contrast here. So I'm gonna touch up the highlights a little bit to give it a little bit more brightness and the shadows as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna resize the image so it's optimized for Instagram. I'm gonna use the 4x5, which is the portrait aspect ratio that Instagram offers. And it's the way that you can your image can stand out a little bit more when you're scrolling on your feed. Even it's it's even better that if you have a, if you upload a landscape image or a one by one ratio. Cool. Okay. And you can see before and after how it's going. So I'm just gonna export the image, I'm gonna save it on my phone and now I'm gonna go to the next step. Once I finish color grading, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this image into May 2 app and I'm gonna use the tool Erase and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up the background so it looks nicer and it gives it a little bit more of a minimalistic background kind of feel. Bye bye to this window because I want a plain background. So we select, boom, gone. So I'm just gonna spend some time deleting all these little spots that makes the image look dirty and I truly don't like it because I want to look clean and pretty. Remember to always zoom in because it's easier for you to use the tool and not grab, for example, if it's close to your clothes or your feet, to not confuse the tool and do something else. So I avoid these kind of mistakes. So I always zoom in. So I go with much more detail. I always like to step back to look the image to look how it's going and see if I'm missing anything. This definitely is gonna need the two hours later. Two hours later. Okay, so after two hours of <laughs> zooming in and editing, this is how it looks. We be only using the erase tool to clean up a little bit the image. I kept the 
the two uh, lines of the floor so it doesn't look so um, so fake uh, to give it a little bit of this is still real life but you can go even further if you want if that's the look that you're going for so this is the before and this is the after before after before after so you see that there's a, a pretty decent difference and it looks way cleaner and if you want you can use this kind of tool in Snapseed, which is a very famous mobile app. I think there's a lot of people that use it. And it has this patch tool here that has the same effect. You have to really zoom in so, you, so the AI doesn't get confused and grab you know, things you don't wanna grab. See, so like create this kind of spot so it's like, so you go deeper <laughs> you can move around the image using this square that you have on the left side so you can move around the image without the need to zoom out and when you see a spot here for example you use the tool when you double tap you zoom out and here you can see the before and after so these are the two apps that you can use you also have out of photoshop fix to use the same patch tool complete honestly i don't use out of photoshop fix i don't know why of course i use it the desktop version i use photoshop to edit all my pictures on my pc but for some reason it doesn't happen the same with uh, with my phone and if you want you can still use it here and you can select the size the same but you have similar tools that what you have on the desktop version of photoshop but for some reason it's way less intuitive than the other two apps that i use so i i have it there if i change my mind sometime but um, didn't happen so far so in case i need to create more space in my image because i want to fit for example I want to make a square image and I have this as a starting point. I'm going to use the tool Snapseed again and I go to Snapseed and I'm going to use the tool Expand. So what this tool does is with the smart option to imitate the background that you already have. So if I want to make a square image with this same background, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go very gently sliding to the right and sliding to the left see so the app is already imitating the background so we don't have to try to copy and paste or duplicate or anything it's a quite easy solution and then what we can do is go with the patch tool again and zoom in and try to really blend the areas that you feel that they have like lines like this so we have a bit more of a blended image and if we needed a square we have it very easy if i want to go a little bit more um, artistic or if I want to add some sort of filter I'm feeling a bit more dreamy I'm feeling a bit more vintage I'm gonna go to prequel app I'm using the free version I know it has uh, some sort of uh, premium version that you have to pay I'm just using the, the free version with their free filters prequel has a very decent gallery of filters and effects that you can apply the one that I use the most is the Miami effect, which gives this uh, sort of uh, vintage glow, which if you want to know how to do it on Photoshop, there's a video right here. It's very easy to use and you can use it on your PC. But if you're lazy, if you're having a lazy time, or you're just gonna stick on your phone on your mobile apps, we can have this same sort of feel with this uh, filter, which is the Miami one. I'm gonna use, uh, I'm going, yeah, I'm gonna go for a more pinky vibe and I'm gonna go to the settings so I can adjust the filter. 
and this color diffuse is the thing that gives the slightly glow or the other one that I use a lot that I truly enjoy is the prism one this one you have this option and this option for free if not see that there's a you use the gold but you have to pay so we're sticking with the free options and yeah I like this one the better one thing that I like about this app is that you can just put the predetermined filter to zero so you can just use the actual effect and not the effect and the filter if you don't want to before and after and the color grading is the same which I think is very it's very cool from them to do so or even if you want to use another filter I can go to filters and we can always adjust how much of the filter we can use so the cool thing about this is that you don't always need to use the exact the exact filter as it is presenting if you can adjust the filters you can give it your own personal taste to it and it's not gonna look the exact same thing as everyone else's picture so that's nice because you can still keep your personality on your editing process so i'm gonna show you on the screen how i started so i started with a raw file then I went through Lightroom and I did the color grading process. Then I went to May 2 and used the erase tool to perfect the background and make it more clean and more Instagram worthy. And then I got a little bit more creative and I went to the prequel app and added some slight filters to spice it up a little bit more. As, as you may see, I don't have Facetune and I don't Facetune my face. I'm not against Facetune, but I'm also not, uh, I'm not gonna cheer anyone to do it. I feel like there's already enough things that we manipulate for the social media and our beautiful faces shouldn't be one of them. I feel like we need to learn to love our complexions and our faces as we are so even though i'm a fashion photographer and of course i edit pictures in photoshop and i edit the pictures of the models i take and i always edit if i have like hairs on my face or you know, if someday you have a big pimple just you know you can remove it it's okay uh, there's no harm in it but i won't encourage people to face tune their whole face or change their face complexion or airbrush their whole face so they look flawless because that's uh, that's not realistic and that's not uh, a healthy approach and we already manipulate enough things in social media so we can leave our faces out of the out of the manipulating process you know we, we all have our beauties and our strengths and our flaws and that also makes us unique and beautiful so why try to get the same stereotypical face of uh, something that it doesn't even exist because it's also <laughs> a face to filter so stay with your face don't face to if you won't do it but i don't know i'm not your mama but uh, and that pretty sums up how i edit my pictures for my instagram all done on my phone all done on free mobile apps or just using the free tools that we have if you're interested in me doing a more creative approach on editing on mobile apps please let me know in the comments if you want me to try or show you another app on the mobile phone let me know in the comments and i'll be chatting with you if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like subscribe and share it with your family friends and influencer pets thank you so much for staying till the end with me and i hope to see you next week with another video don't do face to please, you look like shit. Sa -na -na -na.